Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming again. I know I've been away for quite some time. I know I just posted a vlog that was kind of all over the place, but I really wanted to vlog my move because I did move and I am living on my own now, hence the new white brick background, which I love. It looks so good. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to sit down and do my makeup and kind of talk to you guys and catch up and uh, You know just throw something together So I wanted today to do a really pretty kind of easy everyday look that you could wear for Valentine's Day if you have a date coming up or um, Just for fun if you want to go hang out with your friends in this look you can do that. Oh I'm super out of focus. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, since I'm going to be chit-chatting with you guys throughout the whole video, I guess we better go ahead and just get into it. The most important part about makeup application is actually not the makeup. I know, sounds crazy, right? But the most important thing is prepping your skin for the makeup. Because if you're trying to put makeup on top of dry, patchy skin, then it's just not going to look good. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of moisturizer with the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. This is a very good, just kind of basic, everyday moisturizer. If you hear a little, like, grunting in the background, that's my baby. Her name is Cecilia. You may have seen her in the vlog. I don't think she was really in the vlog that much, or if she was, she was like sleeping. Anyway, so one of the biggest things that I haven't caught you guys up on on my YouTube channel is that I had a baby. That's part of the reason why I was away for so long, because this pregnancy was just insane. It was so stressful. I was dealing with a lot of big sort of life changes while also being pregnant at the same time. So... Uh, sorry, if I keep looking to the side, it's because I have um, a mirror over here. What I'm doing now is applying some eye cream. This is the Clinique All About Eyes Rich um, Eye Cream. And I really like this because it's like a really kind of bouncy formula that isn't too thick. So I really like applying this under my eyes before I do my makeup. But like I was saying, if you hear some little like noises or little baby sounds in the background, that is my daughter. Her name is Cecilia. And if you're wondering where Elena is right now, she's actually spending the night with her grandmother. So it was the perfect time for me to sit down and film a video. And currently about four weeks four to five weeks postpartum. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm just getting my energy back and kind of getting my life back and getting myself back. One of the weird things about pregnancy is you kind of feel like your body isn't your own for a while. Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but towards the end of my pregnancy, I, this happened with both pregnancies, at the end of my pregnancy, I just sort of felt like I wanted my body back, like I wanted my body back to myself. But yeah, it's just kind of really refreshing to feel like you have your own, your sense of self back, if that makes sense. So you want to let those moisturizers sink into your skin a little bit, and the next thing I'm going to do is take my primer, which is the Arbonne Makeup Base. So I'm just taking a very, very small amount and focusing this in my T-zone where my pores are a little bit larger. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm still working on prepping the skin, is I'm going to use this Arbonne Sheer Glow Highlighter. I've been seeing this trend on Instagram lately where girls will kind of just load up their entire face with liquid highlighter and then put their foundation on top. And this is kind of like a more toned down version of it. I'm taking my Arbonne Perfecting Liquid Foundation in the shade Honey Beige. I'm just going to take a pump, a pump and a half or so onto a blending brush like this. This one is from Morphe and I'll just be blending that on my skin. To be honest, I'm kind of like over the whole beauty blender thing. I like to simplify things as much as possible, so if I could just grab a brush and do the exact same thing, then that's what I'm gonna do. This foundation dries down really, really nice. There's been times where I just wear this foundation completely on its own and just let it dry down. And it lasts throughout the day really, really nicely, and the finish is gorgeous even without um, setting it with powder. Today I wanted to go for my Maybelline Fit Me concealer because this is a little bit more full coverage than what I've been using, which is the 
Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, which is a highly raved about concealer, and I also really love this concealer. However, I'm not as crazy about it as I used to be, and I'm not really sure why. I think it's just because I'm more into the full, full coverage for my under eyes. This is great for brightening and kind of reflecting the light off of your eyes, but it's not full coverage. So when I wear this now, I kind of notice the grayness and just darkness under my eyes a little bit more than I used to. But the Maybelline Fit Me is a lot more full coverage and I really, really like it. So I'm just going to apply this under my eyes in the areas that I want to highlight. And then I'm going to go in and blend that out. And like I was saying, I kind of just feel like I have my body back and I'm starting to get my energy back. But I was going through so much just emotionally when I had the baby. I moved out of my apartment, I think, like maybe a week or less after I had Cecilia. So that was a lot for somebody who's recovering from childbirth and just getting used to, um, you know, bonding and then doing a full on move into a new apartment. That's just a lot. It's really stressful. And obviously my last video was titled um, Becoming a Single Mom, which uh, is true. So I was adjusting to becoming a single mom of two girls, um, moving out of my apartment, getting a new apartment, which was a whole like ordeal in itself. But I finally feel like things are settling down a little bit more. I've been in my new apartment for a couple weeks now. 2018 has been going really well for me so far and I want to know how 2018 has been going for you guys so leave me a comment down below. I know 2017 was like a really stressful year for me but not just for me it was a stressful year I, I feel like for everybody. So I want to know how the new year is treating you guys. Is everything going good? Is everything um, still a mess? <laughs> I just want to know because trust me, I will be the first one to tell you that life is not all cupcakes and rainbows. So what I'm doing now is taking my loose powder. This is the Fit Me powder from Maybelline. So I'm just going to take this and set all of the areas that I just applied concealer. I absolutely am in love with this powder. That's another reason why I wanted to sit down and do a chit chat video with you guys is there's so many products that I have been loving lately that I just wanted to share because I haven't talked about um, makeup in general in a long time. I do post about it on Instagram and my Facebook page pretty often so if you want to follow me on those pages definitely can. I will link them down below. So for eyes I have a new palette that I have been absolutely just in love with. I adore this palette. It's from NYX. It's the ultimate uh, shadow palette and this is the brights. So oh my god it's so beautiful. Seriously, and I forgot to mention that when I applied my baking powder, I made sure to make a nice little Line right here. This just helps with the eyeshadow to catch any fallout I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot and I mean a lot of neutral eyeshadows in my collection just like browns and a lot of different shades of browns. Because I have so many neutrals, I always found myself wanting a pop of color or just to add something different in there. So I saw this palette and I fell in love and I knew I had to have it. It has a lot of really gorgeous matte colors and they are very bright and very vivid and they're very smooth and they blend really well. So I am loving this palette. It's about $17, which is expensive for a drugstore, but you can find it at Target. I really wanted to do something that you guys could do for Valentine's Day if you have a fancy date coming up or just a casual date or if you just want to get into the Valentine's Day spirit like I do because I obviously don't have a date coming up. Um, <laughs> that was a little bit sad but it's the truth. And I'm going to be reaching for all of these really warm tones up here. I would love to do a super crazy look with all of these beautiful colors. So if you want to see like a dramatic drugstore kind of makeup look, 
definitely let me know. I forgot to mention when I was putting on my powder that I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Fair Light. And this is a loose finishing powder and I have just fallen in love with this powder. You have to try it from the drugstore. It's only like $5.00. And it makes your face look just so blurred out and airbrushed and so, so good. Powder, I don't know why more people aren't talking about this and raving about it because it's an outstanding powder and makes your makeup look flawless. Guys, I'm just going to prime my lids and I'm just using a little bit of concealer. My eyelids don't get too, too oily, so if you have oily eyelids, you might want to go for an actual eyeshadow primer. Actually, first going to go into this LA Colors Matte Eyeshadow Palette, and you guys, I found this at the dollar store. They actually blend really well and really good quality, you guys. Like, from the dollar store, I'm so impressed with this palette. I'm just going to take the lightest shade in that palette and use that to set my eyelids. Then going into this palette, I'm going to pick up this color down here. Since it is so bright, I'm just tapping off like a lot of the ex excess off of my brush and just blend, blend, blend. Yeah, and as you can see, it just blends out so, so nicely. <laughs> Every time I tap my brush, she like moves in her sleep. This is going to be a really easy look, like there's only a few colors and it's going to be super easy to do. You just want to make sure you're blending really well. My favorite thing to do is to just do a really simple everyday kind of easy look and just make the tiniest little adjustments to really just make the look your own. Like for example, if I'm going to a job interview or want more of a professional kind of look, then I'll still do a really simple I look but I'll do it in maybe more cool tone and if I'm doing a certain look where I really want my brown eyes to pop then I will incorporate like purple so that's just like my favorite thing to do I think it's so cool just the difference that you can make just by making tiny little adjustments in your makeup so the next thing I'm gonna do is take this pink right here it's a really bright bright pink it's tapping off a lot of that color and I'm just gonna go in really, really light-handed with this. I'm gonna go right below that first color that we used. And you can already see like it's, it's popping. And then of course you can go back in with the original brush and blend the two together. Okay. Next I'm going to go into my Arbon Quad. And I'm going to be using this shade right here, which is a really like deep brown, but it has a very distinct purpley undertone. So I think it's going to go really well with this look. And it's just going to make everything a little bit more like sultry and sexy for your Valentine's Day date. I'm taking a little bit of that on this tapered blending brush. And I'm just going to focus this on the very outer corner. And once you have a lot of the product focused there on the outer corner, then you can bring it in a little bit into the crease. I was considering doing an all matte look, which I can still do that if you guys want to see that, but I felt like for Valentine's Day we just needed a little bit of a pop. So I think this is the last matte shade we're going to be using. That really just like smoked everything out. I'm going to go in with my lid color. And I ended up going with this color from Arbonne. So later on in the look, I'm going to be going in on my inner corner and my brow bone highlight with something a lot shimmerier and a little bit more intense. And that's just going to really help like brighten up and open your eyes. So for the lid color, I wasn't looking for something too, too intense, but would still bring that lightness. I'm just applying that on both eyes here. The same pink shade that we used earlier. What I'm going to do with this is take it right in between that dark brown and the shimmery champagne. I'm going to apply that right in the middle of them to blend the two together. Now what we're going to do is dust away all of the powder. 
and I'm actually going to dust it onto the rest of my face to just make sure everything is nice and set. I have been really, really into this e.l.f. bronzer lately. This is the Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer, but it's a really pretty warm tone. It has a little teeny tiny bit of shimmer in it, and it's not one of those bronzers that's like overly pigmented. Like you can actually work with it a little bit and kind of go in with more when you need it. I don't have like a super big forehead or anything, so I don't need to like contour my forehead. But what I don't like is I have a really uneven like hairline, like it looks kind of crazy. So I feel like bronzer kind of just hides that a little bit. So I'm trying to think of what more to like update you guys on. I have been breastfeeding ever since Cece was born. Um, I didn't really get the chance to breastfeed too much with Elena because she just wasn't latching very well. Because she wasn't latching, I ended up having to supplement with her and since I was supplementing, the, my milk flow was just suffering because of that and it was just kind of really stressful. So I didn't end up breastfeeding too much with Elena, but with Cece, it's been going so, so well and I, it's just awesome. So I'm really happy that that's been going well, but I do want to say that if you're a mom and you watch my videos and um, for some reason you can't breastfeed or you were unable to breastfeed or if you just didn't want to breastfeed, I completely stand by you 100%. I am a no shame type of mom. I hate, absolutely hate when I'm online and I see moms mom shaming other moms like that's just so unnecessary every mom slash every um parental figure is you know their own person and they're all individuals which means they're going to be raising their children um as individuals and they're going to raise them the way that they feel is right you know you can't really tell somebody how to live their life and you definitely can't tell someone how to raise their child it's important to know obviously like the the basics on how to care for a child and make sure that they're getting the right care and um, you know getting their needs met but as far as the ethical side of parenting I think you just do what feels right and I especially feel that way with uh, Cece because, like I mentioned, I was just going through such a hard time when Cece was born. I was in the middle of moving and becoming a single mom and just so much was going on that I couldn't focus on trying to do things because it was the right thing to do or trying to be like the perfect mom and do everything by the books. At some point, I was just so overwhelmed and stressed out that I decided to put all of that to the side and just love my daughter as much as I possibly could and everything that I did to care for her was out of pure love like I didn't worry about like you know oh somebody is going to judge me for this or judge me for that or maybe I'm not doing this the right way like I just you know I just said whatever to all of that and I did everything out of pure love and I feel like that's the best way to go. So if you're a new mom or if you're a, just a mom in general, I would just advise you to do things out of the love and care that you have for your children and not worry too much about what other people are going to think of you as a mom. Because as long as you love your children, then you're doing it right. That's all I have to say. As long as you love your children with your whole heart, then you are doing it right. Okay. So now I'm going to contour a little bit and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, you can't even see this anymore. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. It's a little bit more cool toned, a little bit deeper. Um, so I'm going to use that to contour and yes, this is a sample, but seriously, I've had this for so long now and I've barely even made a dent in it. Like, is it really necessary to spend the full price? <laughs> on expensive makeup when you can just get a sample size that literally lasts for a couple months. I'm taking this uh, contour brush by Morphe, which I really, really like, and I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones a little bit. 
I really love this brush for contouring, especially on my nose, because I can just get right in there, right next to my nose, and it just kind of creates the perfect little shadow, so I don't have to do any, like, intense uh, nose contouring or anything. I don't necessarily want to spend my time <laughs> changing the shape of my nose, because, you know, it's my nose. I like to take the contour color underneath my lips, and this will just give you a little bit more of a pouty kind of lip look. I'm going to work on these brows a little bit. So I think I'm going to do this off camera just to kind of save a little bit of time in this video. But what I've been using for brows lately is this e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. Hi guys. So it is the next day. Let me tell you what happened. So as you could probably tell um, through most of the video, I was slowly losing my daylight, which yes, I film in the daylight because I don't have enough money to afford expensive lights <laughs> to film my videos. So I just completely ran out of time. So I turned the camera off to do my eyebrows. Uh, Cece was getting hungry. She needed to breastfeed and then I needed to change her and just like be a mom for a little bit and uh, I ended up losing all my daylight so here I am the next day finishing up this tutorial for you guys so sorry about it stuff happens we're gonna pick up exactly where we left off I followed everything the exact same way that I did um, step for step so we're in the exact same place that we left off yesterday Okay, next thing I'm going to do is smoke out my lower lash line. So I'm going to take my Arbonne eyeliner, and this is the shade Carob, which is a weird name. I know, but I'm just going to apply this in my waterline. It's like a really nice brown color. I'm not going to be adding any color on the lower lash line just because I want it to be really um, neutral. I'm going to take a teeny tiny little pen pencil brush like this and go in with that dark, dark brown, um, purpley brown that we used earlier. And I'm going to go in and smudge that as close to that liner as I can. And I'm going to keep this focused on the outer corner of my eye. So I'm just going to dip into that same bronzer that we used and use that to smudge and blend out this lower lash line. I go into my Morphe blush palette, which I've literally had forever. Like, I don't need any more options than this for blush like this just has everything I need and I think I'm gonna go in with this kind of mauve shade right in the middle so I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and blend it back I'm gonna be doing um, a really bright inner corner highlight so I'm gonna be using a loose pigment which is the Bella Pierre cosmetics eyeshadow in champagne. This is going to really, really bring attention to your eyes. So I just sprayed my brush with a little bit of setting spray. You can use whatever setting spray that you have and grabbed a little bit of the pigment, tap off the excess, and then I'm going to go in with my inner corner. It brings a lot of attention to your eyes, makes you look more awake. Next thing I'm going to do is lashes, and I have some awesome lashes to recommend to you guys. These are the LA Colors eyelashes, and I'm going to be using these ones today, which are a little more thin and fluttery. And these lashes are amazing, and they're only $3, which is an incredible price for such a good quality lash. These are definitely comparable to Ardell. What I love about these is the lash band is so thin and so flexible, so it makes it really easy to apply. And they're just really easy to apply, easy to work with. I just stepped on my brand new eyelash curler, which I actually really, really liked, and now it's completely bent out of shape, and I'm really, really sad. So, anyways, I need to get my life together. Now that they're curled, I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara, just like one coat. When I wear mascara on its own, I usually apply like 
a bunch of coats, like 10 coats, <laughs> um, just to really get the full effect of the mascara. And then I'm applying it to my bottom lashes as well. I think Valentine's Day is the perfect time to put on some false lashes and just give yourself that nice, fluttery, flirty look. I'm somebody who rarely wears um, false lashes. I would much rather just build up my mascara. I feel like my makeup looks look a lot better when I do use false lashes. I just normally am not um, in the mood. <laughs> So I have my eyelashes on now, which I think made a huge difference, and I also just added a little bit of eyeliner. I just used it to conceal the lash band on top, and then I took a creamier black eyeliner and I put that on my upper inner rim, and this is just to help everything look cleaner. So next thing I'm going to do is highlight. First, I'm going to go in with the Mary Luminizer. This is a little sample that I got from an Ipsy bag. This highlighter has been around for like a really long time. This is a highly raved about highlighter. Even before highlighter was like a thing, I'll say that this is definitely a more uh, natural highlight. It kind of gives you more of that like inner glow type of highlight rather than a bam in your face kind of highlight which I actually uh, prefer most of the time um, yeah so I really like that highlight it's just really natural looking and for today I'm going to be pumping up the highlight with the wet n wild mega glow highlighter in the shade uh, precious petals it's definitely like a rose gold highlight so if you don't like pinky tones in your highlight you might not like this but for this Valentine's Day look, I think this is absolutely perfect. So when you're layering highlights, which is something that I actually do quite a bit, I really like to layer my highlights. So you'll want to take the brighter highlight, which in this case is the Precious Petals, and you just want to focus it on the high, high points. So I'm not going over the entire highlight area, I'm just focusing it where I want more light. I'll also do the tip of the nose and keep its bow. Okay, now for the most exciting part. Uh, I'm going to apply some chapstick because we're moving on to lips. And I have some really exciting products that I'm going to be testing out with you guys. So these are the LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Colors. And I just noticed how many uh, LA Colors products I'm using in this video. I totally didn't plan that and this is not sponsored. But I just really love that makeup brand. It's really good quality and very inexpensive. And you can find it at the drugstore, so you can't go wrong. I mean, first of all, the packaging is so nice and just looks really high quality. Like... This packaging looks like something that you would pick up in Sephora or Ulta, absolutely. We have a nude, and then we have a medium tone pink, and then a deep dark um, sort of reddish color. The first one I'm going to be trying out is this nude color in the shade Vixen. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. I'm using the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in the shade Bear to Comment. This is my absolute favorite. Now I'm going to go in with the liquid lip. Oh wow, that's very, it's very opaque. So this is going on really, really smooth. It's nice and opaque and I don't feel like it's patchy. I feel like this nude is really light for me. The formula, it feels so, so good right now. Like it feels really, really comfortable. It feels kind of like, like plushy and pillowy <laughs> and it's definitely matte. So far so good with this first shade and I actually think that this goes gorgeous with this eye look. Just the pink tones and the nude lip is really, really pretty. So I'm going to take this off and then try out the next color 
which is called Perfection. Let's hope that it is perfection. I just wanted to try out all the colors that I have because when it comes to lip products, then sometimes there can be variations in the formula when it comes to the different type of colors. This one might be the perfect color to go with this Valentine's Day look. I would definitely recommend applying chapstick anytime that you're applying a liquid lip and it also helps with the application, makes it look a lot more smooth and I tend to have really dry patchy lips so it definitely helps me out. This one is going on really really nice has that same kind of plushy, pillowy texture. It's so pretty. This eye look with this lip color is just like screaming Valentine's Day to me. I think it's really, really pretty. The formula went on just as smooth and really, really even. <sighs> I'm obsessed. Obsessed. And I have one more color to try out. This one is called Illusion, and this is the darkest one that I have. There is more colors than just these three, but these are just um, the three that I picked up. After trying on all these lip colors, my lips are going to be, like, dead. Darker colors are the ones that tend to be a little bit patchy. Okay, now we're going to go in with Illusion. It's a really dark. So it's going on nice and smooth, but I am I am noticing a slight bit of patchiness. But I wonder if you go in with like another layer just to make it nice and opaque. I wonder if the patchiness would kind of um, be concealed. Yeah. The formula on this one is not quite as good as the other two. If you can see, like, right around the lip line, it's getting really patchy, which is unfortunate. But this is a really nice color, and this totally just, like, amped up the look. I mean, man. Yeah, as it's drying down, it's actually getting a little bit more patchy. Like, you can notice it more as it's drying down, as it's drying down matte which I don't like, but I really do like the color. And you could definitely throw a gloss over this and then you probably wouldn't notice the patchiness at all. Yeah, I don't like this one as much as the other two. So I'm gonna take this off. I think I'm gonna end up going with this pink color just to go with the whole Valentine's Day look. I mean, like, why not just go all out? So I am kind of bummed that the darker color of these liquid lips didn't work out, but I would highly, highly recommend these two and probably any of the lighter shades from this lip line would probably work out well. I think these are amazing products, just maybe not the dark one. <laughs> All right guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. I really hope you guys liked this makeup look. If you try it out, definitely send me pictures. I actually just made a new Twitter account because um, my last one was just filled with a bunch of random stuff. So I decided to start fresh and make a brand new Twitter. Go ahead and follow me on there. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat, all of the platforms. And I'll have all of those links down below. So let's be friends. So if you are not subscribed already, I would love for you to scroll down and hit that subscribe button. I do lots of beauty videos just like this, but I also like to do um, lifestyle videos and like mom, motherhood related videos. So yeah. And I just recently posted a vlog, which I talked about in this video. So go ahead and check that out. And I am vlogging today. If you want to see more tutorials, more chit chat videos like this, then definitely let me know. And if you liked this makeup look, go ahead and give this a thumbs up so that I know that you liked it. And I think that's going to be it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all next time. Bye! Mwah.